Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing a bonus question for today. Uh, let's see if I could, maybe today I, I'll just do a medium one. I'm a little bit tired anyway. I was, I've been, you know, trying to not do an easy one, but yeah. Uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's bonus question. Um, and if you're new to the channel, then uh, I I do the daily problems on another video. You can probably just find it. Uh, but beyond that, because I usually always solved it, um, I'm trying to do an, an extra problem a day just to kind of, you know, do a problem that I haven't done or, you know, attempt the problem that I haven't done before just so for completion sake, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, come join me. And today's problem is I choose this by RNG. I let, you know, try to figure out if there's a problem I haven't done yet. Or well, I mean, there are problems I haven't done yet, but some of them are premium. So anyway, today's problem is 306 addictive number, additive number, whoops. Addictive, additive, yeah, additive number. Additive number is a string whose digits can form an additive sequence. What does that mean? A valid additive sequence should contain at least three numbers, except for the first two numbers. Each subsequent number in the sequence must be the sum of the preceding two. Give me a string and it return true. Okay. Why is that? Does it have to be solo digits? So how does... Um... Oh, I see. So one, nine, hundred. Okay, I wasn't sure whether like it has to be a single digit thing, so that's why. Um, okay, let me think about this now then. Uh, let's see. And what is oh, the number of digits can be up to thirty-five digits. So we can definitely do some some number there, right? So, um, how do I think about it? And I think the the idea that I would think about is just that you can only kick off the problem in a certain number of ways, meaning that. Once you have the first two numbers, then the entire sequence determines itself, right? So, and from that, I think you can brute force the first two numbers. I think that's my idea. That's kind of, I, one thing I would say that is, hmm, I guess maybe not. Uh, mm, I was going to say that but that's a little bit annoying to do in non, non, um, in non-Python non because of like big numbers and stuff like this, but maybe that's not, not that bad maybe that's why they kept it for five digits though but um but yeah so i think we can just you know uh put force on that and then we'll just try so uh yeah let's see um mm, so now so one way that it's, it's where you used to do off by one so i'm just trying to add some visualization here which is that okay let's say we have a number here then we just basically put force um, you no, know, the two dividers or something like that. The, the first two, and then the the remaining, we'll just you know see if it, we we can validate. And okay, so let's you know let's start doing it that way. Um, and then for maybe left is in range of n. Mm, so if left is zero, then it'll be here. Um, so we have we want at least from one to n maybe. And for right in range of left plus one and something like that. And then now we can do, and I'm going to print it out just because I'm always like really off by one on these things. So I might as well root it out from the start. But you want the first digit to left. And then you want num of left to right. Inclusive. Yeah. And then just, I guess, num of right. Duh, 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 duh. Is that a good uh, thing about it? Let's see. Yeah, so one, one, how many is this six digit? So this looks exactly what I want. And, you know, I think the thing I'm looking for is that I don't have two ways of off by one. One is that if I have an empty, empty segment, then I know that I'm a little bit off on one of them, off by one. And the other one is if, um, if I'm missing certain things, I think and that's what I would be. But it seems like this is pretty good. And also... Here, if there's six, uh, let's see, yeah, if there's six numbers, that means that there's five slots in between, if you want to call it that, and it's five choose two, and five choose two is, what's five choose two? Uh, ten? No? What's five choose two? Right. 
uh, yeah, five plus two is ten, and there's ten examples here, so I think that's good. Yeah, so I think this at least for a sanity check matches with what I mean. All right. So okay, so then first of all, if we go, okay, so first is equal to num sub left, we get an int, and then second is equal to int of num sub left right, and then rest is equal to num, you know, this thing. And then here, uh, we have want to verify that. Um, okay, I, I guess I was going to say something. But, okay, so and, and that's pretty much what we come up with. Um, and there are a couple of ways we can implement this, I suppose. But the way that I want to do is um, maybe we don't even need rest per se, to be honest. But because one is you can you know take the rest this thing and then validate it one number at a time or you can just you know you, the thing about these uh additive sequences and it's just an observation i don't know this uh, uh beforehand is that these get really big really quickly right because if you have 35 digits even if you have like zero and one you know you only have to loop it 35 times uh, for you to fill right so so i think i can just simulate and then uh, until at number n and then just do it that way so here maybe i will have um i have to also double check that there's no leading zeros so okay so, fine so basically um, <clears throat> so yeah it, it, how do i say it I'm um, just checking for leading zeros is what I'm tr trying to say, but yeah, um, hmm. okay, fine. If n this, okay, so if num sub zero is equal to zero, right, and length of this thing is greater than zero, or is greater than one, then this has a leading zero. Right? And of course, we can move this up, actually, uh, so that we do a little bit further. Then we contain you, kind of, but not really, right? I mean, yes, you can do this, but um, this is always going to be true beyond the first one. So if num sub 0, uh, so we can actually maybe put it after the first loop, which is that if num of 0 is equal to 0, then we break, because there's just no way to have a, um, yeah. Because that's just you get a leading zero on the first digit after that, okay. And then now this, we will do a loop on the second, which is that if num sub left is equal to zero, and uh, and if this is more than one digit, which means that if right minus left is uh, is greater than one, okay. I was just, I'm really bad at off by one, so I'm just taking my time to think about that one. Um, so, okay, so if this is the case, then we continue. Um, probably even break, right? Because that means that all the suffix here will also be true, because left doesn't change. This gets bigger than one, right? So we can actually break. Okay. Um, and we can actually put it, put these behind the if statements. Okay. Um, yeah, and then now we can just simulate, right? So we have, uh, maybe I could call it P for po possibility. I can, you know, is he, maybe I could do it this way, so. Mm, there are a couple of ways you can do it, maybe, I don't know, oops. And then, mm, How do I want to say it? But um, okay, fine. Maybe I could just write a helper function. So okay, let's just do a helper function instead. So yeah, mm. uh, let's just call it calc of first and second. So we get s as the string, and then if s is equal to num, then we return true. At the way end, if none of it, then we return false. Um, then we can remove this stuff right uh well wait we need here 
I mean, I'll, I'll keep, I know that I don't need an extra variable for the percent, but yeah. And then now, now we go to calc, we go first, second, Du, 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 du. Um, something like that and then we can now have um, total cow or something with sum of length of x for x and p something like that right and then we go while total is less than n we do p dot append this is just fibonacci really uh or like kind of style so the way that i'm writing is really awkward i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but um and then total duh, 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 duh. yeah this is very awkward looking but nonetheless uh, and then we, at the way end we just return the join of this i think this should be okay even though it's way yucky looking. But yeah, let's see. Ooh. Uh. Wait, what? No, I missed, messed that up. Messed that up. There you go. Maybe. Maybe I have to come with that to a list. Fine. Oh no. Uh. Oh, I have to convert this to a string. That's why, or at least that's why I throw it in my head. Uh, I don't know if this is the cleanest way of doing it. I think this is mad confusing. Um, okay, I mean, true, true seems a little bit dubious to be honest. <laughs> just because, you know, uh, maybe I can print out first and second just to kind of rotify. Um, in this case, it would be one, and the other one would be one and 99. So yeah, one, one, and one and 99. So I feel like this is happy for me. So yeah, let's give it a submit. I think the, the thing with true force output is that it's very easy to be uh, incorrect just because, you know, and I'm not really being exhaustive on it, to be honest. Uh, I am a little bit lazier today, but yeah, but it looks okay. So yeah, um, definitely. So what's the complexity here, right? So this is n squared where n is 35 at most, the number of uh, the length of the digits. And then the calculation is also O of n because just by that, I mean, eh, you can say that th these uh, addition is a little bit awkward, but it's good. Each addition, but yeah, eh, I guess this is maybe n squared, depending on how you want to say it, because you're building up two n and it takes uh, an n loop to add n and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, but the length of the string it takes length of the string to add. This is why why this is a little bit awkward in terms of complexity. Um, but it's a way fast and to the fourth, I suppose. Hmm. And you can definitely do this in a sl slicker way for sure. Um, because for example, another way you can think about doing it. Um, I don't know because when you when when you talk about the complexity of a length um, and like adding two numbers and stuff like that it definitely gets very complicated very quickly because you can also just do this or an or an int and and then technically you know maybe it's faster in terms of number of bytes but then that assumes fix with integers which we don't really have here per se at least not if you scale n to to infinity right because you know here we assume that we have it but we don't per se um yeah i mean i think that's all i have for today let me know what you think uh and let me know how you approach this problem and yeah that's all i have stay good stay healthy to commando health i'll see you tomorrow see you later and we'll do another one uh take care and bye bye <laughs>